Good job. Good job. You're so smart. You're so smart. Hello, I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner, Elusive. <laughs> Ellie for short. <laughs> Hi, silly. What's up? You're so smart. And today we're going to teach you how to get your rabbit to come when called. <laughs> Before I get started, I just want to invite you to hit the little subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can be notified whenever I bring a new video out so you can get all of the tips and tricks for rabbit care. Okay, let's teach our rabbit how to learn how to come when we call them. First, I want to tell you about something that didn't work because that would have been a faster way of doing this, but wasn't quite working out. You can try it on your own if you want, but then I will go into the kind of more slow version of it that actually did work for me. So let's get going. The first method I used was trying to use clicker training to help my rabbit learn how to come when I called her name. The idea was that I would have a treat and I would call my rabbit's name. And then as soon as she kind of stepped in my direction, I would give her a click and then I would give her the treat because if you give a click, you give a treat. That's how clicker training works. But I found that she was never quite able to make the connection of coming up to me is what was getting her the treat. She got very confused. So I decided to stop doing it that way and to restart with a different technique. Instead, the technique that I decided to use to teach my rabbit to learn how to come to me when I called her name is just a normal, general conditioning technique. Basically, I want her to hear the sound of her name and kind of react the same way she would to like the crinkle of a treat bag. And for the most part, this has actually been pretty successful. Still, sometimes if she's just kind of laying around, I'll see her ears perk up, but she just won't feel like coming up to come over and get a treat. And then the other times I'll find that she doesn't come up to me when I call her name is when she's distracted by something else. So when she's really intensely digging into a piece of cardboard or something along those lines, then she won't respond and she won't come up to me. But most of the time, I would say like 90% of the time at this point, she actually does react to her name and actually come to me to get a treat. <laughs> Let's get into the steps that I use to kind of condition her to know her name. It's actually very simple, it just takes a long time. What you want to do is pick a high value treat, so a treat that your rabbit is going to love and want to, want to eat and come for pretty much no matter what. Every time that you're going to give your rabbit their special high value treat, you're going to say their name. So it'll be like this. Give their treat, Ellie. And then just the same thing like that, every single time for a number of weeks, that sound of their name they'll start to associate that with the treat and it'll be kind of like the crinkle of a treat bag that always gets a rabbit running, you know? <laughs> you can use other sounds. For example, my friend chose to use like a clicking sound, so she'll do every time she wants her rabbits to come to her for a treat. Or you can use, you know, any other sound that you want. You can say the word come and whichever word that you want your rabbit to respond to, that's the one you want to use when you give them the treat. You need to say the word in the same intonation over and over and over again, and that becomes a lot more difficult with longer words. It's useful if your rabbit has a long name, like elusive, to shorten it to a, a nickname or something, like I use Ellie. That is, that is the basic technique that I use. <laughs> after a while, I would say even after a few weeks of them of doing this, See what happens when you say their name when they're not right next to you. Say they're a couple feet away in the room, not far away, but not right next to you getting the treat. Try saying their name and see if they come up to you to get a treat. They should start to associate their name with the treat so that whenever they hear their name, they'll be like, yay, treat, and come up towards you. You'll practice calling their name as they're farther and farther away. So first start with them being just a little bit farther away, so a couple feet. Try calling their name, seeing if they come up to you get a treat. And then if they kind of have the hang of that, 
See if they're across the room and see if you can call their name and get them to come. And then you can try around the corner. <laughs> I found that actually took a little bit of time with Ellie. She had got confused by corners. <laughs> but eventually they get it. They will hear their name and come towards you. And then after even a little while after that, you start to phase out the treats so that they don't necessarily get a treat every single time they come to you. But you want to still give them a treat often enough that they still keep that association going and they don't end up just kind of forgetting the trick. Another tip that can help is trying to make sure you're not always standing in the same place every time you call their name. This will keep them from associating the place with their name so that if you like call their name from a different place all of a sudden they don't end up coming back to where you, they usually get the treat and then waiting for the treat there. And I suppose it could be useful if you use that when you need to leave or something, you call their name and they automatically go back to their enclosure. And it could be a useful trick to teach them. But if you want it to be, they come to you <laughs> when you call their name, then you'll probably want to change around where you're sitting or where you're standing so that your rabbit can associate the word with going to you instead of with a, a place, a physical place in the room. How long should it take for your rabbit to kind of get the hang of this trick? So it's not going to be one of those tricks that you can teach your rabbit in like a couple days or even a couple weeks. It's going to take a lot more consistent effort in using their name every time you give them a treat. So I would say it would probably take a number of months for them to really consistently understand that this is what their name means. Over time, it'll just become something that's second nature to them because they've been conditioned to behave that way. But at first it'll be kind of, sometimes they'll come to you, sometimes they won't. And you know, you'll need to give it a few months before they really understand what their name means and that they need to come to you. So be patient with your rabbit, <laughs> it's okay. They'll get it eventually because that's just how conditioning works. It's slowly over time, the consistent work that you do will pay off and your rabbit will start coming to you when you call their name. And then eventually you'll be able to call your rabbit and they'll come up to you whenever you call. Ellie! Just like this? <laughs> you're such a good girl, you're so smart. If you're interested in more videos about rabbits, rabbit care, rabbit tricks, anything along those lines, just hit the subscribe button and then the little notification bell over there so that you can know when I have a new video coming out. <laughs> I hope to see you next time.